Good morning, everybody. It's another day, and today is April 15th, Wednesday, tax day. And today is 37 weeks for me and baby Molly, and I am full term. So I woke up pretty early this morning because I just don't sleep anymore because Molly has dropped and I have sciatic nerve pain, and she's sitting on my crotch and it feels bruised, and I'm just feeling like I'm really, really close to being done. And the crazy thing too is it's snowing outside. Look outside, I don't know if you can really tell. But it is crazy snow and it's April, it's so weird. Uh, but today I have my appointment and they're gonna do the groupie strep, but I'm gonna take the boys to my parents' house so my mom can babysit them while I go to my doctor appointment. So I'm gonna get ready right now. The boys are eating breakfast downstairs and I'm gonna hurry up and get ready. It's just weird that I have to like wear boots or something in the middle of April. It's kind of random, uh, but that is it. And I feel like kind of not anxious, but like excited because I feel like I know that Molly is coming really soon. So it's in a matter of weeks or days or who even knows, but it's really soon. After all this waiting, after all this excitement, she's coming and I'm like, and I'm getting swollen. Like my face is swollen and my fingers are swollen and my feet are swollen. Look at this, my feet are just swollen. My ankles and stuff. Yeah, I have no ankles. Um, but yeah, so that is it. I'm gonna go get ready now and we'll see you in a little bit. Look how crazy all the snow is. I cannot believe this. Look at that, you guys. Okay, let's get in the car. Let's go see Grandma. Can you say good morning to everybody? Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> so it's like 9, 10, and I'm like trying to hurry. It's not Christmas. It feels like it, though, huh? But we got to get going. Good morning. Good morning. Can you climb up, little man? Hello. No. Hurry, we gotta go. All right, so look at me. <laughs> hey, I almost slipped when I got out. Anna? Uh-oh, you slipped. That's okay. Okay, hold my hand. <laughs> we made it. Now we're waiting for Grandma to open the door. Look at all the snow. This is so crazy. We can play in the snow with her. Maybe you can. This weather is just so unbelievable. I don't know if my mom heard me. Can you knock on the door, Willie? Willie, can you knock on the door for mommy? My hands are full. I have diapers. <laughs> Grandma. Grandma. Hello. Where are you? <laughs> just saw the doctor. Here is Molly at 37 weeks. I can't believe it. Oh my gosh. She said she would strip my membranes next week and that I was dilated to a 2 plus and 70% effaced and she's like, well, we'll see you next week if you're still pregnant, so hopefully it will go a lot faster. I don't know. We'll see what happens, but I'm going to call Brad and tell him right now. Um, it's just, she's coming so soon. It's so weird. So it was a really good doctor appointment. I'm really excited to know that the baby will be coming soon. She said to me, you know, we'll see you next week and I'll strip your membranes then. Um, it has like a 50% chance of working and if you're even pregnant next week. So we'll see. I don't know. I'm going to get some rocks for you because I always get this. You guys know that. Let me see what I want. Hi, hmm. David. Right, there's a rock spray. How can I help you? Hi, can I get a 24 ounce of the ocean breeze, please? Of course, what can I get for you? Uh, that's it. 555 at the window. Okay, thanks. You're very welcome. This might be my last time getting a Roxbury smoothie after a doctor appointment. It's like my tradition. You guys know that. <laughs> um, I am going to, since my mom has the boys, I'm going to run to Target and return a couple things. Um, one of them being the Honest Body Wash and Shampoo because you guys told me about the deal at Costco. So I went to Costco and I bought the um, shampoo and body wash two for ten instead of one for ten. So I'm going to go return that. And then, yeah, and then I'll go pick up the boys. All right, everybody, we just got back home. We were at my mom's house for like four or five hours because I'm not feeling very well ever since my appointment. So it's three o'clock now, it's almost three o'clock, and I've been cramping, and I know it's probably because she you know, checked my cervix and checked to see if I was dilated and all that. Um, and I also lost my mucus plug, <laughs> so. That's kind of crazy because with Will and with Max, within two days or so, 
of losing my mucus plug, I always went into labor. So I wonder if she's coming. Is Molly coming, Willie? When do you think she's going to come? Tomorrow. You think she's coming tomorrow? Ah. Anyway, so Max fell asleep, and I was going to work on some videos and film a couple, but I'm not feeling very well, so I'm going to take it easy. I'm feeling kind of dizzy, and I just have this feeling that she's coming soon. I don't know if it's like as soon as the next couple of days or whatever, but I'm feeling really weird, and I have a feeling that I need to get some rest. So I'm going to do that, and you know what? This vlog might be cut short, and it might just be a really short vlog, but <laughs> that's what's going on right now. All right, so Brad just barely got home from work and the boys have been begging to go outside and play in the snow, but I have not been feeling well at all. So obviously I couldn't take him outside. I've been having really bad cramps and my back is hurting. And so, yeah, so we're gonna go get a burrito, a spicy burrito tonight at Cafe Rio so I can hopefully go into labor. <laughs> um, but we'll see. Anyway, I want to take you outside and show you the boys playing in the snow. So let's go. If I can get my boots on. I'm like trying to. It's so hard doing it with one hand. <laughs> Zip it up. Hold on. Winnie's dying. Are you just dying to go outside, Winnie? Okay. Okay. Here we go. I'm going to get my head on. I can't believe it's like still snowing after all this. I'm gonna get Brad's phone. And we're gonna go outside. <laughs> Cute. There they are! My cute best friends. <laughs> Don't break my Brad shirt. is rolling it up. It rolls up so easy. That's awesome. It's like a carpet. Because it's like warm enough. Oh, Matt! Hulk smash. Let me pat it down. Can I get video of you rolling it up and then you can put it on Instagram? Sure. I need a video of the snowman. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna take a video at the same time as I'm taking a video. <laughs> now it's rolling up to be a huge snowball for the snowman that they're making. <laughs> This is like literally the second snowstorm we've had this entire year. Like the only other snowstorm we had was on Christmas Day, I think. So it's kind of crazy. The boys are like so excited. You guys are so cute. I gotta go. I'm gonna go lay down. I'm not feeling too well, so. <sighs> Cutest dad award goes to Brad. He's tired. He's had a long day, but so heavy. still taking care of my boys. I'm back inside and I got a package in the mail today, so I wanted to show it to you. I took it out of its, the wrapping paper so the camera wasn't like, you know. Anyway, it's by a brand, a brand new brand of products for children's hair, like hair care products. And it's going to be featured at Target. And we all know Michelle loves some Target. So let's see. It's called So Cozy, it looks like. So Cozy. This is a Fruity Tootie Detangler plus leave-in conditioner. And I was noticing everything it says here is non-toxic, no parabens, sulfates, all that stuff. So I thought that was cute. So there's that. And that is in the Fruity Tootie scent. There's this, it's called Boo Lice Prevention Spray. I'm interested to see what that's about. Um, Cinch Super Hydrating Conditioner, Berry Whip. I'm excited to smell this. I smelled one of them already. <laughs> um, this is the Lice Prevention Shampoo. So I wonder what that does, how it like prevents it. Oh, it has tea tree oil in it or something like that. Basically, you can just use it as like a normal shampoo. Um, what's this? Oh, this looks cute. It's called Behave Styling Cream Soft Hold in Perfection Scent. That's cute. No nasties, no joke. What a cute brand. Kid tested, cozy approved. And then what's down here? They sent me a lot of stuff. Um, Behave Styling Mousse Medium Hold in Peachy Keen Scent. Yum. And then this is one that I actually smelled. It's the Cinch 3-in-1 Shampoo and Conditioner Plus Body Wash in Mango Go. And that one smelled really, really good. And I think the packaging is really cute. And I like how it's small because, you know, sometimes if you're like me, you have a lot of bath products for your kids 
well, just like bath toys and everything, so it's nice to have kind of something small. But I'm really excited to try out all these products. They're really cute. So I will definitely be doing a review on that. Um, I'm going to use it for a while first to see if I even like it. But the boys are making great progress out there. Look how huge that snowman is becoming. It's literally as tall as Brad. Oh my gosh, I can't wait till they're done. They're, Max is helping. <laughs> they're so cute. I spent a lot of moments today just cuddling with the boys, like one-on-one -on -one because Max was taking a nap. And I was cuddling with Will, and then there was a moment when I was cuddling with Max, and I just like got so teary-eyed. Like, our lives are about to change, and I'm getting really emotional about all of it, but I'm getting really excited as well because it's a good change. Change is good. But I just love my little boys so much, and I'm so excited to give them a little sister. You know what I mean? Like, just so good. Also, I wanted to talk to you guys about something that happened. So if you watched my vlog last week, I was like super excited. I had like some work stuff happening that was just huge. And I was so excited. It was going to be this opportunity that was going to change everything. Like it was going to be huge. Bigger than anything I've ever done, ever. And then we were like going back and forth with ideas and then it came down to the timeline and because of my pregnancy and my due date, it didn't work out. And I was devastated because it's the third opportunity that I have been approached with this year. Like huge opportunity that hasn't worked out because of my pregnancy and it's so hard because you know I've been doing this for four years now and every time I'm like, okay, this is it. This is like the amazing opportunity that you know, I'm going to be able to reach more people and everything. And so I just have to be patient and know that everything happens for a reason. Um, but I was super, super bummed on Friday and Saturday. I was like pretty depressed. I'm not going to lie. Um, but I'm thankful that people even found me. You know what I mean? Um, and I pray that hopefully I can be on the radar and in the future after Molly's here, then I can work with them in another way or something. But that was really rough. <sighs> it was really hard. <laughs> um, but I don't dwell on it and we just move on and we hope for better things. And I think I might do a video about that, like failure and all that stuff. I don't know. Let me know down below what you think. But I'm rambling because I just have to lay here because my stomach doesn't feel very good. Um, anyway, okay, we'll talk to you later. Brad has created an Optimus Prime <laughs> snowman. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't seen one in years. Hey, can I take a picture of you guys in front of it, please? <laughs> Come here, Bubba Max. Come take a picture. Hey, Max, come here, sweetie pie. Winnie, come here. Come here, Daddy, let me get a picture of you guys in front of it. Willie, stay by the snowman, please. All right, so it's almost 9 p.m., and I'm still cramping. I'm not having, like, full-on contractions or anything, um, but... I'm gonna go take a shower and wash my hair because I haven't done it in four days. And I think I just need like to clean myself. I just feel kind of gross. Um, I'm kind of crying because I there's a little bit of water in the kitchen and I slipped. I caught myself, but it like pulled something. Well, like my crotch is really, feels like my groin is bruised anyway. And then I have like my sciatic nerve on the right side that's pulled because she's sitting on it. So it was so painful. So I was just like crying because it was so painful, but I'm glad I didn't fall down all the way. But this is like the craziest vlog, right? It's probably like me just complaining this whole time, but maybe Molly's coming sooner than we thought. I don't know. Um, but that's the vlog for today. So thanks for watching and we'll see you all later. Bye.